just caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror in the hall, love. God, the things we got up to behind closed doors, eh? You know, sometimes I still wonder what you saw in me. Oh, 1952 you bought this, remember? 1952! <laughs> Just kids then. And it was a bit of a joke, of course. I mean, we don't tend to take our Stetsons too seriously up the valleys, do we? But here it is. Bit more uh, sellotape and staples than it had in the beginning. But wouldn't we all if we had half the chance? <laughs> you see, I couldn't get enough of it, could I? The Wild West. I mean, you don't get a lot of frontiersmen around here, mate. Not in the terraces. But you didn't mind, even when I started bringing more things home. I remember I tested the water a bit, I did at first. A neckerchief that went straight in the drawer. Oh, and then an ammo belt that I said was for tools. But it wasn't long before I came back from a car boot with a couple of five-foot totem poles for the garden. Well, you were fine about it, weren't you? Of course you were. You just asked if I could string a line between them for the washing. Yes. Oh, God, that bloody door again. Sorry, love. I haven't fixed it. The saloon door's in the kitchen, remember? Yep, squeak away they do every time I leave the window open. You know, uh, sometimes... Sometimes I think it's you. I can't help it. I do. And I like that. I still sit at the table too. Remember I do as I eat my porridge and think about tomorrow. <laughs> because tomorrow's Saturday. <laughs> Cowboy breakfast day. Beans, toast, sausages. And our boy John... Named, of course, after the Duke. He truly was the son of God. And the director says, uh, John, could you give it just a little more awe? Ah, he truly was the son of God. <laughs> yeah, he used to like that story. We would have called him Marion if he'd been born a girl. You know, I've done cowboy breakfast for him every Saturday since he first went on to solids. And you'd happily peep over the top of your boiled egg as he lapped it up, wearing a little hat of his own. Shame. He hasn't been that often these days. Got his own family now, hasn't he? His own breakfasts to make. So I've got to be honest with you, I'm more excited than ever for this one. Maybe he'll even bring the grandkids tomorrow. All the generations together, like. And we could do it in the garden. Get the camp stove out. Make the street smell of a... of a limitless frontier. Up to the shower then, and I'm sitting in it when I hear the beep of the text. Yeah, yeah great these seated showers, aren't they? The boy bought it for me. I haven't decorated it yet, mind. I haven't westernised it. I was thinking of putting some bullhorn somewhere, you know. But John says it's a bit over the top and I'm asking for trouble. I do love a text. I really do. And I haven't even fully rinsed out the shampoo. What little shampoo I need these days when I clamber out and hurry over to the phone. Oh. All right. Okay. You can't come. John, my boy. No, no. He's got his own family now, hasn't he? His own breakfasts to make. But it's, um, it's all right, you know. Really it is. I'm, 
I'm busy, I am. So busy. Back to the lounge in a hurry. Where's that hat got to with? Uh uh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. You know, it's crazy around here, man. These last few weeks, well, things have got worse and worse, and you've been locked out of sight for your own safety, and a fella by the name of Texas Tom Bass has moved himself in. Terrorised folk he has. Scared to leave our homes we are. Eyes boring into the back of our heads like the barrel of a Winchester repeater. Hung over us like a cloud as Texas Tom. But you know all about that, don't you? We've spoke of it often enough. And we're over that now, aren't we? Since we had that shootout in the hallway, away from the women folk, and I've got him under lock and key in the sheriff's office. OK, here we go then. I'd better move this porridge out of the way. <laughs> Can't have that, can we? Can't have porridge disturbing an execution. No epitaph that, is it? Porridge. A good night's sleep will do it, and uh, it'll be done in the morning, before breakfast. Texas Tom will sleep too. He knows he's at his end. All his fight has gone now. I can feel it. Land of the silver birch, home of the beaver, blue lakes and rocky shore, I will return once more. Boom de lady, boom de lady, boom de lady, boom. You remember that, love? By the lake in the Brecon Beacons. Morning comes and I wake immediately, aware of my duties. I get the note from my bedside cabinet. It's been there for a few weeks now and I, I put it by the door. These, these sorts of things aren't for everyone. I mean, I'm not even sure John could. Um... But you're here though, aren't you? I can feel those beautiful dancing eyes warming my neck like the high noon sun. You see, I... I had to make something of myself for you, didn't I? You know, knowing you were always looking on and ridding the world of Texas Tom, well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? God, I, I hope I hung the noose better than I hung those bloody saloon doors. Careful of the chairs I am as I climb up. Don't want to damage them. John will have these. As soon as I'm up there, I can feel Texas start to struggle. Yeah, he's, he's shaking. Just uncontrollable shaking. It's all right, though, I tell him. I'm not angry with him anymore. I'm not angry with anyone. The days of terror are over, when the rage and the anger and the life have gone. We're all just the same, all just skin, bone, 
and memory. Okay, all right, here we go then. Slowly walk to the edge of the table. That's okay, Tom. Just far enough to see the door, that's all. No. He's... John will be sitting down now for his own breakfast. Damn, it's, it's the right way of things. Isn't it? I hope he's never felt it isn't. Let's step a bit further. Okay, Tom, we're, we're close now. You can almost see Anne. See my beautiful wife. Smiling she is. Look, so close now. When? <laughs> my phone beeps. There's a text. And I, I, I do love a text. God, I, I nearly trip down from the gantry as I climb down and I, 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 can, I can barely read the bloody thing. You know, the screen on the phone, it's shaking about so much. It's John. It's our boy. Change of plan, he says. <laughs> He'll be over in half an hour if I, if I can hold off breakfast. Can he bring the kids? Can, can he bring the kids? Of course he can bring the kids. We'll we'll have a cowboy breakfast. Oh, I'm looked outside, Edmund. God, look, it's sunny too. It's sunny. We can get a campfire burning again. Okay. All right, right then. I better get some beans on and and nip out for some bread. You understand, don't you? Nineteen fifty-two. Just a joke, you said. Remember? This is all just a delay, love. That's all. I'll see you soon, love. I'll see you very soon. Blue lakes and rocky shore I will return once more. Boom tiddle idy, boom tiddle idy, boom tiddle idy, boom.